This is documentation of all the amazing trips that we've been on. This time, we're going back to the African safari that we took in 2014. We landed in Nairobi and drove an hour and a half to Imakogo, but we only stayed there for the night. Every place that we went to required us to go into a small plane of no more than eight people, eight passengers, eight seats. And I think for the duration of the two weeks, we went on a small plane at least twice a day. It was so intense and it was so amazing. We were following the Great Migration. Next stop was Aldonio Lodge, where we spent time with elephants and went to a Maasai Mara village. And then straight into the safari. Our last stop in Kenya was the Ambion Kichwa Timbo Masai Mara Tented Camp, located at the Serengeti's most northern point near the Masai Mara National Reserve. Welcome on board. Thank you. I have bad news for you today. <laughs> on the board is next pilot. This is like your mother and your wife in the one kitchen. Christian is from England. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not sure. Is it, you know where this place is? We'll go up on mm. this part. Oh, yeah. Because bigger we don't get yeah, rid of this. There's a big pond right here. It's, it's right nice in front of it. Straight ahead. Very interesting. Yeah. Once again, you can see like Mara River, yes, with very rich lands. Let me just, um... It's very slow, we're using it still, right? I would say this area is probably, uh, at least 50% it's taking over. Cheers! Very nice flight. And back into the safari. <laughs> Waiting and waiting. Yeah. Oh, wow. Same. So they had the problem of inbreeding. So yeah. they look like all other family. Yeah. yeah. So that's that susceptible to disease. Yeah. Right. So they, they cannot survive because any disease can mm. die. Uh, die. Uh, die. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think this image right here is the most powerful representation of the Great Migration.
Our first stop in Tanzania was the Ambiance Grumetti Serengeti Tinted Camp. These tents took glamping to a whole nother level. Zanzibar. The experience of being black in America is quite unique, but to be black and American in Africa, I can't even put it into words. Africa is undeniably in our roots, but to go to Africa for the first time, it's, I, I can't even put it into proper words. To say that this trip was eye-opening, doesn't even put a cap on it. <laughs> <laughs> Africa is amazing, it's our homeland, and we can't wait to return. Up next, we're headed to Peru, 